Hello, this is John Kenalopoulos here from our center in Athens, Greece, the Laser Vision Ambulatory Surgery Center. And here is a pleasant story. This is a 25 year old lady we had treated back in 2015. So this story goes back, uh, it was February of 15, so we're almost at 2022. This story goes back almost seven years, and we can see her keratoconus. Um, she at the time was interested in obtaining a, a driver's license. She was measured with about six doctors of myopia, and that flagged the problem in her eye. We can see that her thickness back then was 446, with a pentacam, of course. And this is her uh, almost seven years later after undergoing the Athens Protocol. We can see how the cornea has dramatically normalized. She is in an uh, astounding 2020 minus uncorrected from her uh, left eye today. And this is the difference with the Athens Protocol CXL, topography guided partial and refraction normalization, and the uh, flattening that reaches almost six and a half diopters uh, from pre-op to today. And this is really the happy part of our story. Uh, the unhappy part of our story is that this was our young lady's uh, right eye at the time. Uh, this is actually taken in 2015, and this is her right eye today. And this is unfortunately the dramatic ectasia that has come into play, despite the fact that we had reiterated, even back then in every exam, to avoid eye rubbing. We see a steepening of about 10 diopters. Her visual acuity in her uh, right eye has dropped to hand motion. And um, it, in a way, the success of, of her left eye was uh, a reason for her to ignore the right eye worsening. So in, in a sad way, uh, and this is the uh, right eye where nowhere can we see the signs of the progressed uh, keratoconus. Again, uh, images here. Uh, we can see in the left eye some uh, specific topometric indices improving, for, for instance, her IHD has gone from 176 to 96. We can see that it has um, uh, more than half. Uh, we can see the significant flattening that we saw also in the pictures, uh, steepest here, 57.2, steepest here, 52. And again, the um, ISV from 120 to 84, and all the keratoconus parameters have improved. And in general, keratoconus has gone from stage three to stage two, but in essence, the center has normalized uh, tremendously. Uh, so if we go and look at uh, the similar images on her right eye, we can see that her IHD has gone from 162 to 242. She has jumped uh, stages. She was stage two and 15. She was stage two to three and 17. And she's now stage three to four in 2000 and almost 22. We're in the end of 21. So within our uh, pleasant uh, news for the left eye, we have the unpleasant news that the uh, right eye has progressed. She doesn't run her eyes a lot, but she did reveal that she sleeps uh, on her right eye, on her hand, knuckles, and that's probably where this is happening. So again, through this uh, bittersweet example, we want to reiterate and uh, make sure that not only our colleagues internationally, but our patients worldwide understand that keratoconus means a predisposition genetically and avid eye rubbing that can be done consciously during the day or unconsciously during sleep. So one more part of our keratoconus grand rounds and one more part that underlines the importance to study even our sleeping habits because without knowing and here this young lady being trapped by the success of her uh, Right, left eye having had uh, the Athens Protocol with us back in 2015 uh, has uh, hidden from her everyday routine the fact that her uh, right eye has progressed. Uh, she requires almost 10 diopters of myopia and 4 diopters of astigmatism today. So early diagnosis, very good understanding how eye rubbing uh, plays a pivotal uh, role in the progression of keratoconus and how all the members of a family of a known keratoconic patients need to be screened in order to protect them as much as possible. John Kalopoulos here from our Center of Athens, Greece. So all our best for the end of the year and the holidays for everyone on this planet um, signing out and thanks so much for your attention.